What is up guys? It is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. You probably have already seen the title of this video, but uh, I adopted a ball python. Oh my goodness, say hello. Say hi. These are all your fans. They'll be your fans. You can see he's missing an eyeball. <laughs> Uh, so you guys don't even know how long I've wanted a ball python. This is literally a dream come true, but let me introduce you. This here is One-Eyed Jack. He is a male 20-year-old ball python, and I just adopted him literally just a while ago. He was dropped off at my house along with his tank and some things, uh, and I will tell you the story of how I ended up with him uh, throughout the video, but we just got him and he needs to get settled into his new enclosure. ASAP, so let's get started with that. One quick little caveat before we go any further, I do want to mention that typically you actually want to have the enclosure set up before your animal comes home, but the reason that I already have the snake and I'm setting up the enclosure is because One-Eyed Jack was coming with his enclosure, and so obviously I couldn't have it set up already. I was just giving him some upgrades and some newer things uh, in his enclosure, but typically if you're like looking to get an animal, make sure you have the enclosure set up before you actually get them. Just wanted to mention that before we get into it. You can see in his current tank, we have just a hide box as well as some aspen and paper towel. He also came with a water bowl and some rocks and some other decorations, uh, but we're actually gonna be trading out the aspen for some eco earth and coconut husk. So I'm gonna try to mix these two together to make a fresh substrate for him. We'll see how that goes. This should hold a little bit more humidity. So I'm hoping that it'll help with some of his stuck shed. Uh, if not, we may go back to Aspen, but we're gonna try out this first. I also picked up a ton of stuff for his enclosure. So let's do a little bit of a haul. So obviously, I mean, I just showed you the substrate, but I did pick up some substrate as well as a piece of wood for his tank for him to climb on and also have something a little bit more rough to uh, scratch his skin on. And then because he didn't have a ton of foliage or other decorations, I picked up a whole load of stuff at the dollar store, AKA the dollar 25 store. We've got vines, we've got fake plants. And then I was really excited about this. This is actually going to end up being the background. It's just kind of like contact paper. So this was $1.25 for a bit of a background so that at least one side of his enclosure can be covered so that he can feel a little more secure that way. And then I also picked up this big bowl. Uh, I'm thinking I could cut a little door in it and this bowl can be actually the hide for the snake. With all that being said, One-Eyed Jack is waiting to get into his new home, so let's get everything set up. Now for the shelving liner background. Let's see how well this works. Perfect, but close enough. Obviously, this is a little bit of a work in progress. I'd like to get some kind of maybe second hide or cork bark log in this left side of the tank. Um, but for now, we've got at least some decorations, some cover in there so that he feels secure and safe in his tank. And then as far as heating and things, we have a ceramic heat emitter uh, that came with his enclosure. So I'm gonna hook that up and then hook it up to a thermostat uh, so that we can keep those temperatures nice and consistent. Before we put One-Eyed Jack in the tank though, I do want to weigh him so that we can kind of have a baseline as far as how much he weighs because a lot of ball pythons, and this ball python included, tend to be like 
not necessarily picky eaters, but they tend to go off of feed quite a bit. And that has been the case with One-Eyed Jack. I want to make sure that I kind of know where his starting point is right now as far as how much he weighs so that I can continue to check in on that even when he's not always eating his meals. Before we put One-Eyed Jack in his enclosure, I figured we could just do a little bit of telling the history of this snake. So like I mentioned in the beginning, he is 20 years old, estimated to be anyway, but this guy has had many different owners throughout that 20 year or possibly more lifespan. Um, and so the people I adopted him from most recently, Tommy and Ellie, uh, they had him since Tommy was in fifth grade. So for the past almost, I think 10 years, maybe 11, 12, um, and before that, Tommy actually got this snake when he was in fifth grade from his teachers. So Jack used to be a school pet, actually. But even before then, he was still known as One-Eyed Jack because he had a single damaged eye. He was from a Scales and Tails, which is a reptile chain here in Denver, I believe, and they have some other locations, but he was from um, Scales and Tails in Colorado Springs. Even before then, he was actually surrendered previously to Scales and Tails from the actual possible original owner, um, from where he got his damaged eye. So that's kind of his history and backstory. He's definitely bounced around to a lot of homes, but I'm really glad he is now here with me. Basically, people at work know that I'm into animals and one of them mentioned that their son, Tommy, had a ball python that they had had for such a long time and that it was probably time for him to move on to a new home. So that is how I ended up with my very first ball python buddy. I am just so excited to finally have a ball python. This has been a species that I've wanted for a really long time. I hope that he does well and thrives in my care. Um, like I said, this is just the start of what his setup is going to be. Eventually, I'd love for him to get an upgrade, but for right now, this is what we have the space for and what he has been in for the past how many years. So eventually a bigger tank is definitely a possibility. You can see he takes up a great deal of space in the enclosure, but for now, the 40 gallon breeder will have to do. I hope to add some more hides, possibly a heat mat, I'm not quite sure yet, but for those of you who have owned ball pythons before, please feel free to leave me your critiques and care tips in the comment section down below. I would really appreciate it. Obviously, this is my first time owning a ball python, and I've done a fair amount of research, but it never hurts to have other opinions, especially since I know there are many of you out there who have kept ball pythons before. Anyway, enough rambling. I know Jack has had a very busy and eventful day, so I'm gonna go ahead and let him go back into his tank and rest. So that's it for me for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, feel free to hit the thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all next Friday. Have a totally awesome day. Bye.